Well, 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 well. Where is y'all's white guilt, black KKK collective group think squares now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all posted them all over social media. Where's y'all squares at now? People like me and many others have been calling this out from day one, telling y'all this is nothing but a grift, telling you it's a big scam, telling you that this organization is nothing but a pawn for the Democratic Party, which is trying to usher in socialism, which is a direct road to communism. Yeah, y'all, it's out now. We got another leader ciphering off $10 million from donation money. I think they said, what, the average donation was around $30, and they were able to raise up to $90 million, almost $100 million in a year, one fiscal year. Yeah, they took y'all's money. Yeah, you deserve to get your money taken. And anybody else that's still supporting this organization ain't nothing but a dummy. Yeah, you dumb. You're a fool. At this point, you are a fool. And that's what's sad about black folks. They get scammed. They always want things for themselves. But it don't ever end up to be the way that it is supposed to be. It ends up being an organization that doesn't even help minorities in the country. But all they do is run around hollering racism, the high demand of racism with a low supply. Yeah, yeah, where they got to go create it. Yeah, all it did was expose who they really were. Yeah, we got this guy. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to let it do the talking for you because I already know y'all read the headlines. Oh, it hit. And it's funny to me, none of the liberal media is even talking about it like that. Yeah, yeah, this should be all over the news. Black Lives Matter organization stealing more money again. So let, let, let's get into it. An executive with Black Lives Matter is accused of siphoning more than $10 million from donors. The claim was made in a court filing by the grassroots arm of the organization. Shalomaya Bowers is named in the suit along with their consulting firm. Bowers has denied the claims, calling the accusations harmful, divisive, and false. Well, where have we heard that before? Oh, it's, it's divisive. And, oh, it's just right-wing attacks. It's white supremacy and racists attacking our organization, saying that we're a frauds and we're, Ill, we're not legit. Where did we hear that before? But this time, this ain't right-wingers. This black folks. This is grassroots people within the Black Lives Matter organization that is following a lawsuit on them because they are straight up caught handed stealing. They're alleging that these people are stealing and ciphering money, $10 million to a consultant firm. Where did we hear that before, Craig? Oh, uh, you, I'm glad you asked. What with the, the, the Shaquisha queen herself, Patrice Cullors, the queen of the whole grift that, uh, that resigned when the smoke start getting hot, when people start finding about finding out about those million dollar mansions, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Twelve million dollars in mansions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard the consulting thing before. I got my notes here. I don't. I want to make sure I get the data right. We got the information in one fiscal year, from 2021, one mi almost one million dollars uh, was paid to Patricia Colors, the, the the one I'm about to show you, a million dollars to the baby daddy. Yeah, $840,000 $840, to her brother for security. And the joke ain't got no experience whatsoever in security. Black folks ain't doing no security. He ain't got no law enforcement whatsoever. It's all a lie. It's a consulting company. Yeah, you, I'm, I'm going to expose it for what it is. Uh, and they only gave, what, $200,000 to Trayvon Martin, up to about a million dollars in private jets. You guys know what's up. The list goes on. We know about the mansions. We know about the lifestyle, these event parties. But she, Patrice Cullors of Black Lives Matter, that stepped down and claimed that she was doing it for a book and a, sh a show, a reality show or whatever, probably going to end up on BET with the rest of the nonsensical shows. Um, she left the organization. But I think it's because the kitchen's starting to get hot and they're trying to scramble and try to get away from getting in trouble while they try to work this out, but the, the gap is closing in. I'm waiting on the IRS and the feds to kick in the door and put the handcuffs on them. Yeah, yeah, that's what they need to get. They're consulting companies. Remember, Patrice Cullors hired her sister, brother, the whole family in the consulting firm. Yeah, that's what they do. Maxine Mad Max, Big Face um, Waters does the same thing. All of these grifters, Stacey Abram, all of them. They all do it us through the consulting company. That's how they money launder. 
That's how they're able to cipher off from the top to these other, uh, through their family members and get the money other ways. We know that they're stealing. So, but where do we hear the, cons the, the uh, uh, consulting company before? As this guy, he's being sued. Um, I don't remember his damn name. It, it's, it's meaningless to me, especially he's within this organization. But they're suing his consulting company for siphoning two, $10 million, and he goes with the whole, oh, this, this is vicious, the tax is divisive, the same rhetoric that Patrice Cullors pulled. But here's an interview where the guy is asking him, have you ever uh, um, been paid or used any of the donation? I'll let him do all the talking. Did you ever receive a salary from the foundation when you were involved either in the early days or uh, before you left? No, I never received a salary from the organization, okay. um, but I did receive consulting dollars. Consulting dollars. Isn't that interesting? From the organization in the early days. Uh, and it was about $120,000 that I received. How do you respond to that? If people who think that because you're doing well, that somehow means that you aren't um, as credible a, a movement practitioner. I believe that black organizers who are fighting day in, day out on behalf of black lives uh, deserve to receive salaries, deserve to receive benefits. Um, in fact, for most of my organizing life, I was not an organizer that received a salary. But I thought that they don't like capitalism. I thought that they were all about socialism and reappropriating things and uh, it should be equal amongst everybody. But now you, you, you're saying that you deserve, oh, okay, I'm gonna get into it, I ain't done with it. Have you ever used money from BLM to pay for your home or the homes of your family members or any other funds that were donated to Black Lives Matter what? to essentially enrich yourself? No, I have never used Black Lives Matter donations to pay for any of the properties that I own in the past or own right now. You know, the idea that Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation received millions of dollars and then I hid those dollars in my bank account is absolutely false. Is there any truth to the report? That's all, we don't need to hear it. We all know that now that that was a lie. That's an old interview. We know that, in the words of Murray, that is a lie. <laughs> It, 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 the lie detector says that that is a lie. We all know now through the data I just read off, it was like close to $12 million uh, in just luxury homes. We know that they use Black Lives Matter donation now. That's an old interview. She lied then. I don't know how much more facts and things that I got to show you that these people lied. They did nothing to help black folks or, or brown folks in this country whatsoever. This whole premise that black lives matter, our lives already matter. All lives matter. But let me know when black people start caring for other black people's lives. You know, I'm going to beat this drum until the last of my days. There's a reason why I'm eight times more likely to be killed by somebody that looks like me. Yeah, eight out of ten black folks in this country, certain parts of this country, are more likely being killed by someone else that's black. Yeah, yeah, I think... During that same fiscal year, they raised almost $100, $100 million. Yeah, and black communities, homicides went up, uh, uh, murders went up 43%. Yeah, there's a reason why my white counterparts, their number one preventable cause of death is accidents. Yeah, a car accident, boating accident, accidents. But for me, a black man, an American in this country that has to be embarrassed by people like this, that grift and lie, and steal and scam, you can't, black people can't, can't have nothing. My, our number one preventable cause of death is homicide, typically done at the hands of another black person. So you tell me, you let me know when black lives matter to black people. And don't get me started with them lynching them babies in the wounds. Don't even get me started on that. We know what's up with this organization. We know what it is and we know what it stands for. This is a hate group. They should be charged with domestic violence for the summer of love of what they did. All this swarming and, 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 and uh, selective outrage that they have of only when somebody white does something but completely doesn't say a damn thing about when it happens in their own community is beyond me. It drives me absolutely up the wall and it's insane and I will always have a deep disdain for people like this. I'm not surprised that they got caught or they're being sued again for stealing. There will be more, mark my word. More will come out.
Someone else is going to get caught up for stealing because that's all the group is. It's anti-white hatred towards white people. Man, I ain't going to beat this drum too long. Y'all know what it is. What's your thoughts on the subject? Y'all know what time it is. Do you still support Black Lives Matter? Or do you think it's a grift now? Are you one of them liberals, Black KK Collective group thinks that lands on my page after I always tell y'all the memo that this is not the BET channel? There's no rap videos that degrades women and, and promotes destructive culture, poor leadership. Yeah, this is not the channel. You're not going to see get out of debt commercials on my show, on my channel. So you can buzz out or you can chime in and, and, and take the facts like medicine, like diamond tap. I can't keep telling y'all the truth over and over and over, man. Somewhere you got to get it through your thick ass skull. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. For everybody else that's been around supporting, man, thank y'all. Y'all know I love it. My voice wouldn't be where it is today and elevated to where it is today if it wasn't for supporters like y'all that comment, like, share, do all the whole nine. If you want to put a middle finger up to the algorithm, just comment, like, everybody's comment. Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Craig Long, 45. You can't make this shit up. Peace. Yeah, oi. <laughs>